It keeps me up at night, wondering if this is some kind of destiny. The new tenant wants me to clean once a week while he's out, an hour before sunset. We may never even meet face to face. When I reach Gabrielle's home, it feels like I've entered a sanctuary, a pocket of surreal calm at the center of a city on fire. The city has a new energy, and I can feel that deep down. Cleaning the windows is soothing somehow, even with the smoke rising on the other side of the glass. There was another explosion last week. You can feel the depression in this place. It feels like everyone in the city is grinding their teeth as hard as they can. Would Gabrielle even notice if I stopped coming? In the middle of a civil war, why is this the thought that haunts me? The man has this job. He brings home encrypted papers and signs them without even reading them. I stood there with my heart pounding and my face burning. I knew my brother and his revolutionary friends needed to know about this. I don't think Gabriel left those papers out by accident. I don't know if he's a hero or a fool. Free from suspicion, this apartment seems removed from it all, known only to Gabrielle and me. It's a hidden place where I can pretend for a little while none of this is happening. <sighs> Come back home.